Lesson 6.5, we're going to relate subtraction and division. In video 3.2, we learned that multiplication is related to addition. We can use repeated addition to find a product. 2 times 4, we can do 4 plus 4. We have two fours. It's equal to 8. Division is related to subtraction. We can use repeated subtraction to find a quotient. We have 8 divided by 2. We're looking for the quotient. What we can do is start with the dividend 8 and subtract 2. We get 6. We subtract 2 again. We get 4. We subtract 2 again. We get 2. We subtract 2 again until we get to 0. We count how many times we subtracted 2. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four. We know 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. The quotient is the number of times we subtracted 2 in each group to find how many groups we subtracted. So why learn about division if we can just use repeated subtraction? Well, for 16 divided by 2, it's much faster to divide than to have to solve re repeated subtraction such as, starting with the dividend 16, we do minus 2, which is 14. Then 14 becomes our new number to subtract 2. We get a 12. Then the 12 comes up here, we subtract another 2, we get 10. 10 comes up here, we subtract 2, we get 8. 8 comes up here, we subtract 2, and we get 6. 6 comes up here, we subtract 2, we get 4. We put 4 up here and subtract 2, we get 2. We put 2 up here and subtract 2 until we get to 0. And then count how many times we subtracted 2. That was a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8, but it's much quicker to just do division. We can use repeated subtraction as a strategy if we need extra help, but it is much quicker to do division. Emma is reading a book that has 40 chapters. If she reads two chapters every day, how many days will it take her to finish reading the book? So we can use the strategy of repeated subtraction to solve it. We start with the dividend, that would be the 14, that's how many chapters in all, and we would subtract two because she's reading two chapters every day until we reach zero. We start with the dividend, how many chapters she has in the book, that's 14. She's reading two chapters every day. We do 14 minus 2 is equal to 12. Now, 12 is our difference. It's going to become our minuend up here, and we're going to subtract 2 and get 10 for a difference. We're going to keep subtracting 2 until we get to 0. We count the number of times we subtracted 2. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We subtracted 2 7 times. So there are 7 groups of 2 in 14. So Emma read the book in 7 days. That's a lot of reading. Good for her. We write... 14 for the chapters divided by 2, how many she read each day, is equal to 7, the 7 days. We can also write it with the dividend 14 inside of this division symbol with the divisor 2 on the outside, and we write the answer, the quotient, above the ones place. 7 is equal to 7 ones, isn't it? So we're going to write it above the ones place in 14. See? 14 divided by 2 is equal to 7. We can do repeated subtraction on a number line. Each jump back is like subtracting. We have 14 divided by 2. We need to find the quotient. We start at the dividend 14, right here on the number line. And we jump back by the divisor 2 until we get to 0 and we count the number of times we jumped back. 
So let's start at the dividend 14, and we'll make jumps of two until we get all the way back to zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven jumps. So there are seven jumps of two in 14. 14 divided by two is equal to seven. We can write a division equation that will fit the given repeated subtraction. So we see this, and because it starts over here, we know the dividend is 20. The divisor is 4. It's how much is being subtracted each time. And the quotient is the number of times we subtracted 4. We subtracted it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times. So 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. To divide, we can use repeated subtraction a number line, or we could draw or use equal groups of counters, couldn't we? We can solve with repeated subtraction to find the quotient. So here it's written with this as our division sign, and we can see our dividend is 15, our divisor is 3, so we're going to be repeating subtraction with this divisor 3. We start at the dividend 15, we take away 3, and that's 12. We take away another 3, and that's 9. We take away another 3, that's 6. We take away another 3, that's 3. We take another away another 3, and we're finally at 0. We count how many times we subtracted 3 until we reached 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, Five. We subtracted three five times until we got to zero, so we know our quotient is going to be five. We write the quotient in the correct place value. Five is five ones, so we're going to write it over the ones place for the 15. We write it above the dividend, 15, in the correct place value. Here we have a word problem. Chris has 23 strawberries. He keeps five strawberries for himself. Then he gives six strawberries each to some of his friends. To how many friends did Chris give strawberries? So do you see the important numbers here? He has 23 strawberries in all, but he keeps five of them. Then he gives six to each to some of his friends. So 23, 5, and 6 are important numbers. We need to find the number of friends who got strawberries. We need to subtract the strawberries that he kept for himself. There were 23 strawberries in all. He kept 5 for himself. 23 minus 5 is equal to 18 strawberries to share with his friends. We need to separate the difference, this 18, into groups of six. We can make groups of six counters and count how many groups we made. We made three groups of six. So three friends got six strawberries each. We identified the important information. We took away the five strawberries that he kept for himself before splitting it between his friends of six each. 18 divided by 6 is equal to 3 friends. So even though it's quicker to just use division, if we get stuck, we can use repeated subtraction to help us solve a division problem. We can also use a number line and jump back the number of the divisor. We can also draw equal groups and go back and forth with counters until we use all the counters that equals the dividend, can't we? We're going to continue talking about division. Have a really nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye.